are still eating. <laughs> bon appétit. <laughs> bon appétit. Merci beaucoup. Hein? Merci. Hello, hello. Uh, London invite. Uh, what brought you here in the first place? I think uh, London invite was a perfect opportunity to test. Uh, te <laughs> test a few things before uh, Wales later uh, in July. Uh, it has been on our schedule since the beginning of the season, and we know, knew that Leven would bring in some cool teams, so we could get some good games. Uh, Looking at the final, uh, yeah, what, what happened there? We missed Mama Mondio. <laughs> Rasta, we miss you. No, sorry. Uh, I don't know. I think we maybe a bit low on energy. We took a few goals in the beginning. And I think that, yeah, mentally we didn't quite recover from that. So, uh, like in the Tom's Journey final, for example, we were also trailing behind pretty much the whole game. Uh, but the energy was much different. We really believed that we could still win. And I felt like today we, yeah. Once a different got three or four points, I felt like maybe the energy was a bit too low and we tried to get back in there. I think in the second half we did, but just not enough and not. Uh, and Mama enough. was there. Yeah, we missed her. <laughs> <laughs> and especially in the wind. I yeah, with the wind it was a bit hard. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like wind farm here. Uh, that's maybe uh, not a, that's a term from the Nottingham fields where that's the wind farm. It's very windy, but it's even more windy here. Anyways, uh, I heard you, uh, as Yaka, you brought in uh, or you encouraged uh, more women's teams to come here? That... Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> Did we? How was the I think, like, how, you know, we just attract a lot of other people. No, but maybe that's how it works. That's, I think we wanted a tournament where we match up against the highest teams right before World, so the end of the preparation, and I think other teams also want that. So when we know uh, Kuzmi is going to be here, Iceni is going to be here, Yaka is going to be here, and then we know, okay, these are the matchup in Europe that we want, and maybe uh, we all attract each other a little bit like that. Yeah, and I also think it's important for us not to like overplay our players a month before uh, Will, so like the schedule here in London was quite attractive, uh, not having to play uh, seven, eight, nine games over a weekend, but uh, only have five games. Yeah. How was the competition between the So uh, I think uh, the pool play, we, I think in all of the games we need to adjust for the win every, in every game. Uh, there was a little bit, oh, we still have to win. Uh, but I, I think our pool stages was uh, quite manageable. Uh, we still got pushed. Uh, so the other teams put up a fight against us and played some really incredible defense uh, and made us think a lot. Um, but I just think that we as a team know each other really well um, and play for each other, with each other and for each other and that helps a lot. Yeah. I think mentally we might have wanted a bit more challenge. So like this game was not great in terms of how we played but I think mentally that's also some of the games that we need. And our last two tournaments were French championships and those were a bit easy for us to play. Uh, no offense for our opponents there, but we were really looking forward to yeah being behind, maybe losing a game, or maybe trailing a bit and see how we dealt with that. Uh, so we got what we wanted in the final, but I think we maybe wanted it throughout the tournament a bit more, and then to be able to deal with it a bit better. A lot of lessons learned. Is this the actual last games at the world? Do you have any training camps? Um, no training camps. We do have a practice game, I think, two or three days before the start of Worlds against some New Zealand team. I accidentally saw Blue this. Paris, yeah. I think? But in Cincinnati. In Cincinnati, yeah. Other than that, we are just... Uh, there's going to be some training in New Zealand Sec. All of us are going to uh, keep preparing in our respective cities and stuff. What is the team like? Blue? Blue Paris? Blue Paris? Yeah. We have a lot of Australian and New Zealand uh, Okay. I, I will see you there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we can maybe uh, host a uh, uh, recording or something for a live stream there. Uh, yes. <laughs> Those will be there as a. Um, it will be recording, reporting, and uh, well, not live streaming, but. Uh, so what do you? What is the 
this uh, specific thing without giving too much away I mean, to the people at home yeah. and the players that we will be competing to against Yaka. What will you be taking to Cincinnati as like uh, learnings? I think uh, for us it's really on the mental side uh, to uh, to. Yeah, keep trusting each other and ourselves and I think that was one of the things that hit us here was that we stopped trusting ourselves. Uh, so I think, yeah, mentally that will be something we will work on uh, the next few weeks. Uh, yeah. We are a good team, we are not so worried about that, I think. Uh, but it's really, we know what we have, we know that we are good, we know that we can trust each other and we can trust ourselves to play well, but we just have to get mental vibe a bit going and also yeah feel comfortable be comfortable with losing and with or with like trailing behind a little bit and then still having the mental energy to come back and get back into the game and like try to get the win i saw uh, mama monio in the chat last last uh, or yesterday uh, in, in one of your games uh, who was watching at home uh, today uh, who saw you lose the game some people that have messaged me on Instagram that were watching. Luckily not my parents who used to, who usually always watch all of my games, but they are a bit busy right now. So uh, I, uh, if they cannot, I tell them whether it's worth watching or not. And then usually they go and when they have time, they watch it anyway. I think in Jill, the entire team has a lot of yeah family watching from back home. So that's great. Uh, so we are really happy that you provide all this coverage yes. from Alta TV. Uh, it's so I was great. Not fishing for compliments. <laughs> but, uh, thank but you. you got one anyway. Yeah. So so it's really great that we get to showcase our sport uh, and get to show it. Uh, yeah, to people not been able to be here in London yeah. with us. Um, what do you want to say to them at home? Thank you for supporting, and it's yeah, it's so great to have you. <laughs> yes. Shout out to all the Yakitos. Yeah. No, it's great. Not only uh, our family, but also our teammates who cannot be here. They are always supporting us uh, through WhatsApp and that kind of stuff. And knowing that they are also there for us, it's super nice. And we are bigger than this team that we have here and also bigger than the team that we're bringing to world. Uh, so it's nice to know that wherever we are, we still have some teammates all over the place that are supporting us from home. So shout yeah. out to all of them. One final question. Yes. Uh, you are both, I understand, both imports. Do you actually live in, uh, in, no, in France? No, I live in Copenhagen. Uh -huh. uh, I started playing with Jaka last season uh, and has stuck around because Jaka is just a great group of people. Uh, so, yeah. How does this work at uh, Jaka? Because uh, Jaka has been famous for that. Uh, also <laughs> getting, like, I think Laura Farofi on board. And, uh, Laura? No, wait, it was the other yeah, way around. Rob, we had Rob. Sorry, Rasta was playing for. Yeah, uh, Rasta yeah. played for yeah. Shouts uh, in 2018. Uh, yeah. When they won for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> suspicious. No, I think. Uh, yeah, we kind of attract some people. So me, I joined four years ago because they had some open tryouts going the world and I had some contact with some people and they told me like, okay, we are looking a bit outside of the team just to get a little bit of a bigger squad for Worlds. Uh, but the not really problem with Yaka is that if someone joins us for one season, they tend to stick around. So it kind of became more like a team of different non Noisilla sec players also. My hair is not made for this. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, that the, these people stick around and um, for us they are really part of the team. So they're not pickups or anything. We go to all the training weekends, we go to every tournament. Uh, we just don't train with the team during the week, but the team organizes the season in such a way that the people that don't live in Paris or don't live in Noisy Sec have enough opportunity to be with the team and play with the team. And so yeah, we're a team. We're not a. No one is a pickup in our team. We are. Just yeah, teammates. right. Yeah. So yeah. it's just one team. It's not transfers or I say that imports or. No. Okay. No, no, just like the team. Just yeah. We are not like as a person who joined last season. I can say we're not treated as that either. Like from the from day one, you're just a part of the team. No question about it. Uh, and then I actually have a shout out, but that's mostly to to Yaka and Jill. So all the French people here, uh, they have really improved their English yeah. over yeah. the last <laughs> one and a half years. Yes. It's so great. Yes, communications <laughs> are getting easier every day. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. But you're also learning French. 
Bien yeah. sûr, oui, mais oui, uh, allez là. Uh, if you want to be in the nightlife of Paris, then uh, I guess you gotta, you gotta learn French. Right? Yes. yes. Cool, thanks. Okay, thank Good you. Good luck in uh, Cincinnati and uh, see you there. See you there. Thank you, see okay, you. Okay, bye. bye. Love you, mom. <laughs>